Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. Let's jump in and continue the teeny tiny streak that we have. And let's randomize for another character. Okay, we've got the Keeper. Interesting enough. Interesting enough. Um, Keeper's actually apparently a character we have not played on this series yet. So, rather interesting indeed. I do love a bit of Keeper. If we can manage to um, do a sack room play with this guy, that would be awesome. Um, I think... Hmm. I was going to say I think I'll pick this one up. I literally have to pick that one up. I was like, hmm, I'll see. I'm going to leave these pennies on the floor for now because, as I just said, sack room players are, um... Kind of sound, sound like I said sack room there. Sack room players are actually, um, kind of plausible with this guy. This scares me. This, this room is, uh... It's got, it's got a lot going on. And especially with these guys flying, it, uh... Puts me on edge a little bit. Puts me on edge a little bit. Oh my lord. Um, and as for question of the day today, kind of a simple one. What is one of your fears? I um, I haven't, I don't think I've asked that one before. Or at least if I have it, it was in a very different way. But yeah, um, what is, uh, oh, this is a great item to get off the bat. Uh, also, I forgot to use my penny last room. Um, yeah, what is a fear that you have? Mine, I don't know. I've, I've never, it, this sounds really dumb and it may sound a bit like boastful, but I've never really figured out what fear I what fears I really have and yeah I know that sounds a bit dumb but like I'm I think I'm loosely like very loosely afraid of heights but it's it's not that bad I like I can go on planes I can go up high and stuff I just prefer not to and I kind of makes me feel a bit uncomfortable but I'm not exactly get scared really also I just hiccuped there I've just had my food and it was it was delicious, by the way. But yeah, yeah, and I, I don't know. I've never really had anything huge. Also, by the way, I I just just realised I'm pretty sure this entire room's layout, the rocks are in the formation of a spider. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> that's some interesting room design there. Um, also, hmm, I was gonna do this, but no, I think. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three. So that'll put us up to 11. We'll get up to 12. Okay. Let's try you. Okay, good. I was gonna say let's buy a red candle, but then I realized how terrible of an idea that truly is. So, at the risk of our streak, I am gonna check the curse room here. Um, and we did get a devil deal, which unfortunately we can't afford, but I'm mostly okay with that because it's not a very good one. Now, this is precarious. Oh god, that, <laughs> that was scary. That was rather scary indeed. Okay, okay. We did it get up to 15 cent, not that it matters too much, but anyways, let's, let's get gone. That, that was a situation that I was not expecting. But yeah, I've always had this sort of weird little thing with heights. I know a lot of, like, a lot of people have a lot of different fears. Obviously, some of them do spawn from, like, childhood trauma or just spawn from, from a past experience. I know a lot of people, like, scared of dogs because of something that might have happened to them when they were younger or just a, a bad experience with them, things like that. That was a bit of bullshit. He just telefragged me with that bad boy. Um, it's okay, though. He is going to die. Regardless. Yeah, I've never understood why this guy can, like, contact damage you with the bombs, like, immediately upon them spawning. It's always really, really annoying. Ooh, that was rather nice. We'll grab that. Honestly, I'm actually okay with shot speed and range as this guy. Oh, that's pretty good with sinus infection. Um, but yeah, like... I've never really had one of those. I, I was always a very, like, curious kid in terms of, like, creatures and bugs and animals and spiders and stuff. So that stuff never really got me. Obviously, spiders kind of, like, one of the biggest ones out there. Probably the biggest fear out there, I would say. Um, oh, that is that is very lovely to see. Um, and it, it is indeed a crawl space that leads to one of these. Oh, we got the bad one. Although, I have to say... The good one wouldn't be much better. Um, ooh. Now this is an interesting prospect. We'd need a lot of money coming our way. But I really like the idea of this. I really like the idea of this. That could be that could be rather cool. Okay. 
I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, like, uh, obviously Spider's like a big one. Um, but I feel like a lot of people also did switch the one this floor. I wasn't expecting that. Um, oh, unfortunately, an item that is just useless for us. Um, what a shame. That was our first one. But yeah, I think Sinus Infection can carry, so we're, we're going to go with this. Um, but yes, yeah, so like when I was young, I, I was, I guess, kind of weird when I was young. I'd like go out and like capture spiders and bugs and creatures and like keep them in jars and all sorts of stuff. I think it was just like curiosity. I mean, a lot of kids have that. Like, I kind of had, I don't know how many people have done this. I've spoken to friends that were, did this when they were younger, so I don't think it's that weird. But I had like a, like experiment jar, as I sort of used to sort of think of it, where basically I would just, um, also that guy gave me a penny for a reason, um, where basically I would just like dump a bunch of crap in it, like soil and water and bugs and all sorts of crap and just see what happened. And it is, it was kind of interesting. It'd be like sealed off and like became its own sort of, by the way, I'm going to bomb this because I feel like we need the money. It became kind of its own sort of mini ecosystem. And I, I found that really fascinating. It's always always got to be that, hasn't it? Um, I found that really fascinating. Um, and I think that was, like, partially one of the... Dude, that was bullshit. Come on now. Um, partially one of the reasons why um, I never really had that fear that a lot of people have, uh, especially with spiders. It just never really bothered me because when I was younger, I was just like, ooh, a spider. Let me pick it up. Which I'm sure for some people is like, you monster. How could you? Um, shall I go into my shop? I feel like no... Like, there is a few very good items, and obviously, like, Explorer's Instinct and stuff could be in there. But, I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like with one key, it's not a great idea. I suppose I could go back and get the other trinket, now that I've already used this one. Oh, this is interesting. This guy just poots out fire everywhere. I'm gonna leave that penny there. I'm always gonna leave a penny on the floor if I can. I managed to use that just in time there. Also the money right now. I'm, I'm trying to save up as much as I can here, just because with this um, with this trinket, we are going to need a lot of money to sustain. Um, and also, we're going to be getting devil deals on top of that, which is going to make it harder. Okay. This is going to be a... I don't know. Is this going to be a tricky boss fight? I don't think it is. I never remember what this champion does, but I think... Booger Tears, for the first few floors, is going to carry really hard, actually. It's just so good. Yeah. Um, that's fantastic for us. A huge damage up. Oh, wait, what? Does that not give you an actual damage stat? News to me. Um, ooh. Now, this is kind of a tricky one because this is an item that costs a lot. But I do think it's worth it. I do think it's worth it regardless. Um... I would be tempted to take my multi-dimensional baby as well, but because we've got something coming up next floor, I'll save it. And <laughs> against my better judgment, now that I've got an extra key, I am going to check out my shop. I realize I could go back and get my store key and not have to use a key, but I'm just lazy. Um, and we didn't get anything great there. Let's go for a reroll. Basically, I'm looking for Explorer's Instinct. Or, I tell you what, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to take that, and I'm hoping, damn it, for an extra nickel there. Okay, so we need more money coming our way before we decide to go into our next, um, into our next item room. But otherwise, this has gone pretty well. I suppose I could look for secret room. I think I know where it is, but again, it's just a lot of backtracking, so I'm just going to not bother. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and then there's like a there's like another bunch of different various um, fears that people have, especially ones that are animal related and stuff. That I think because I live in the UK are just not a concern to me. Like I know that some people are afraid of snakes, but they they usually in, live in places where snakes are actually a viability of seeing. And I have seen a snake in the wild just once in the UK, a single time, and it was a garden snake, which are literally harmless. That was. That was kind of close. Yeah, they, they, they are literally harmless. So I was like, yeah, wasn't really that bothered about that. Um, and then obviously, like, spiders as well. Like, I know I was just saying about that earlier, but even still, um, I know that most of the time, fear of spiders and stuff is very irrational, so it doesn't really matter whether it can hurt you or not. But 
just like for peace of mind, none of the ones in the UK can can hurt you. <laughs> or at least not that I know of. Um, there might be a few out there that are like really uncommon that maybe could. But I don't think it's many. Dude, this 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 fella, this bat, my boy, he's just wrecking all the small enemies for us, and we've managed to make our way up to, into a very decent amount of money already. We've been getting very lucky here. Um, oh, I was really hoping my bugger tears would transfer. I'm noticing the sty tears are a slightly different colour, which is kind of interesting. Oh, dude, that one was moving at, like, lightning speed. What the hell? But we do have an extra heart, which isn't a guaranteed victory, but it's a very, very, very strong push in one direction, I will say. Um, it really helps out. Okay, this is slightly annoying. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to deal with this. I think Succubus is honestly how we deal with this. Hopefully this guy dropped some pennies as well. He didn't, but oh well. We'll keep picking up our money and going. Oh god, that was close. I just walked right into those spikes there. God, I do that so often. I'm just so, like, focused that I just careen myself straight into whatever's in front of me. It's really silly, but... I don't know. It just happens. Calm down, sir. I keep thinking they're kind of the same colour as Sacred Heart Tears. So I'm like, I don't know, because Sacred Heart, they've got Herming. <laughs> No, no, no. No, they don't. Right, what we got this time around? More of the Void. Now, obviously a little more expensive and difficult to get, but a very, very worthy contender. Um, I, I think we definitely want to spend the time and energy to uh, amass that fortune and buy it. That will be two 30 cent deals in a row, but I think it's, it's yeah, definitely worth it. And even if even if it means missing out on something from our actual Devil Deal, More of the Void is such a strong item and also has an absolutely wicked costume with the Keeper. Um, that, yeah, I think I have to take it. It's so, so strong. And I, I actually think that these two, as like, a, as like a couple, as a pairing, is insane. Like, the damage that we're going to be able to output here is, is just nutty. I keep worrying that, like, oh no, I need to make sure I don't get hit, because I keep, I'm so used to two heart keeper, and then we have three heart keeper, and now we have four heart keeper. I don't need to worry at all. I'm unlikely to get anything from this, yeah. Um, I was going to say, a trinket can't really do much for me, because I really like my trinket that I've got right now. And on top of that, I don't really think a heart upgrade is going to do much for us either. Um, so, oh, I, I hate these rooms. People need to stop making these rooms. That's so silly. Because, like, it, they'd be fine, but the Grimace things are, like, really, really awkward to actually make them do what you intend them to do. Um, they seem really logical when creating them. They seem like a really good idea and, like, a fun little challenge room, but they end up just really not working the way that you, uh, the way that you planned out at all, which is a shame, because... More challenge rooms with varied rooms is, is always interesting. I did also add a new mod um, that adds a bunch of new special rooms um, by Wiesteven. I, I, don't, I don't remember how you pronounce the name. You know who you are. Um, they, they're on the Ipecac Discord quite a lot, and um, I've spoken to them a few times in various different Isaac modding discords. Um, and yeah, this, it seems like they've, they've created some pretty cool special rooms. I'm always up for more variety. As long as the um, the balance of them isn't too uh, skewed, as long as they, they have good weight, like as in like they don't show up too often if they're really good, all that sort of good stuff, I'm usually pretty happy to add them. Okay, we we have been we have been fools before. Yeah, I'm not taking that. I like the item, it's very cool, but I think I could die even with the hearts I have now. I think I, I still think I could die. And on top of that, um, the item tends to add a good amount of lag to your run, as we saw the last time we saw that item, so I'm kind of like, I'll stay away from that one for now. Also, I'm really loving how fast and heavy the money's coming our way. If we could get something like Contract from Below, or Humbling Bundle to add on to that, that'd be just super nice, just to keep that money flowing. Um, oh, what a great item as well. Not only because it just is a uh, huge damage multiplier, but it affects our Succubus in a major way. And I think it even affects more of the Void too, so... We've become quite the uh, quite the evil fella here, um, and created some really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, the multipliers are always good to get. 
That's the best way to get them. Again, I will check my shop. Again, I'm really only looking for a few specific things. This is one of them. Wasn't on my mind at the time, but this is one of them. And that is... That is so unbelievably good. Uh, one moment. I am back. Let's continue onwards. But yeah, that that's... I kind of went in thinking, ooh, it'd be really good if we killed him and got a bunch of money. But I kind of didn't consider the fact that, oh, actually, if we... are, oh, that was really stupid of me. Um, oh, actually, if we kill him and get Steam Sale, <laughs> that's so much better. Oh, the damage is insane here. The damage is insane. We even got a uh, tier rate up here, which is something we kind of needed. And, hmm, duality. I'm going to take duality. It's not that good for us, but we now do have the option of going to our angel deal, and they won't cost money, I don't believe, right? I, will they? I can't remember. I don't think so. I don't actually remember. No, I don't think our angel deals will cost money, because that's, that's, just, that's just on Tainted Keeper, right? And we also did get a reverse item here, of course. I will do the little save trick. If it crashes, we're just going to ignore it and pretend it never happened, because it just... It is what it is. Oh, this is the Steam Sale one. Shops contain fewer goods. You receive a free store credit in each shop. Eh, that's not that good anyways. Anyways, yeah. Okay, we are back. We unfortunately are just going to have to disable that mod for now. It's a really cool mod, but it, it, it just, it always crashes without fail. Um, I, I, I haven't really found any way. That was a really bad hit by me, but I got a dime, so I don't care. Um, it's, it's just, it just crashes without fail, and I don't know why. I, yeah, like I said, I will see if it ever gets fixed. If, if people know about it getting fixed, do let me know. But for now, I'm just going to pretend it don't exist and carry on. Because this run is pretty awesome anyways. And I don't really think I wanted what was in there this this time around anyways. Hmm, nah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I got enough money to carry me forward for the next few bits. Let's keep going. But yeah, duality. Ooh, great, great, great. More money. Duality is um, a really good one for us here. Because we, uh, we could end up getting a few extra angel deals. Oh my lord. I love the fact that all the segments are separated here just for that hilariously long bar. <laughs> it's so dumb, but I love it. It's so dumb. There, there is an option to disable that, but <laughs> I find it funny. Oh, this is a top tier item. Yet another 30 cent item, but obviously we have it half priced. But that, that is going to give us herming and piercing in one fell swoop, which is, yeah. Going to be awesome. This is just crazy. My uh, my succubus is doing most of the work now. That will give us some flies at least. The Hierophant. Hmm. I guess I should um, I should bomb the machine and see if we get anything good. Nah. There you go. Yeah, this is this is a top, top tier run. Also, we have Curse of the Maze right now, and it is confusing the hell out of me. Dude, that guy teleported so close to me then. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I'm trying to think of any other fears. Like, I know that a lot of people also, like, have, like, fears of the dark and things like that. I think those are a... Sort of understandable when you're like outdoors, but indoors, eh, I don't really get it. But then again, it's, it's like that's kind of the thing about fears. For the most part, they're pretty like unless they are like directly related to like previous trauma, they're gonna be um oh god, they're gonna be um pretty irrational and like even if even if to you the fear it makes makes no sense why you're scared. By the way, I've been hit twice now. Just terrible. Oh my god, just die. Um, very nice for another thingy up. Okay, be, be a little careful with my HP here. I, I should be completely and utterly fine. I've got two HP still. But. This is a thingy hand, isn't it? Normal hand, yep. There you go. 
There's a penny. That puts us in a little bit better health. And there you go. Back to full. Back to full. Quickly check this out. But yeah, like I love, I love like watching. I, I've watched like a few YouTube clips of like, um, like things or things where people have like really strange fears. Um, they're, they, like it, it's kind of weird how they develop, but like people, I know that there's like specific names for some really, really obscure fears. There's like a specific name for people that have a fear of buttons, things like that. Um, and then like I, I don't know if it was just a meme that was going around. Do you know when like. There was that time where there was quite a lot of TV shows like My Strange Addiction and stuff like that where it was just kind of like people going on TV with their weird phobias and their weird foibles. Um, that was a just amazing bomb. That troll bomb was, was kind of legendary right there. Um, yeah, it was kind of at that time, so I don't know if it was just kind of a meme related to all of that. Uh, but there was that one where um, it's like a fear that a duck is somewhere watching you. It's... <laughs> I feel like it was definitely just a meme, but it was given like a proper name and stuff. I found that one to be really funny, and I'm imagining that's one that, that very, very few people in the world... This is... This has gone awry. Very few people in the world probably have. <laughs> but it's, it's also kind of one of those things where I feel like... I feel like it's like sometimes there's like different fears that people have never heard of that people don't have until they hear it said like they're, they're like someone will be like oh I'm, I'm scared of armchairs and then someone will just watch it and be like oh shit <laughs> now i am too and it's kind of like association it's weird i don't know um that kind of happens quite a lot to be fair i mean it, it, it kind of it kind of happened lusty blood that's pretty good it kind of that's another 30 cent one damn we're getting lucky um well considering we have the money if we didn't have the money it'd be very unlucky um but it's kind of like what happened um, over the past few, like, the past, like, five, six years with, like, the LGBTQ community sort of thing, where, like, there was a lot of, um, a lot of various orientations that kind of got brought up, um, or I wouldn't say, it's not exactly discovered, it's more like they were given a name, they were, they were given, like, an identity, um, and a lot of people were like, oh, shit, that's been me my entire life, I've never really known that. And, like, pe people were just confused or thought they were broken or were, like, not un just didn't understand why they didn't have the same drives as other people or whatever. And then, like, yeah, like, there was a sort of name put to them. They were just kind of like, oh, shit. Hey, that's really nice. Probably should have blown up the statue there. Uh, but, yeah, they were just kind of like, oh, shit. Do I really want to go for an Isaac's heart on this run? I do love Isaac's heart. I do think it is pretty good. But at the same time, this run, this run's good as it is. Um, obsessed fan. Like, the non none of these are good. I'm just going to take Obsessed fan. Fuck it. The, um, the Eternal bosses are going to be a little difficult, aren't they? Oh, God. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Oh, dude. Calm down. Calm down. I think I killed the mask there. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, is that mask going to stay there? Oh, no. <laughs> That's such a terrible placement for that. I really need to be uh, spamming my space bar as well just to make sure there's uh, available, God damn it, available heart um, coins for me whenever I need them. Are you eternal as well? God damn you. Also, Bloody Lust is going to get fully propped very, very quickly. Yes, I, I think it kind of falls into that same category where people didn't really know. There was a lot of things where people didn't really know what it was. And so, like, when they hear it, they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's what it is that I have. That's my fear. And then, obviously, there's, there's, there's also the kind of more annoying and worse side that kind of hurts communities. Obviously not with being afraid, really, but more the other thing, where people just kind of latch onto it because it gets to go and they're like, yeah, that's me, and it's definitely not, and they just latch onto it to be unique. That's really annoying. That's, that's always been something that, like, really frustrates me. Because um, I, think, I think that kind of happened a lot with anxiety and depression when they kind of first... I wouldn't say 
they became the norm, because they're not the norm, but unfortunately for the current generations and stuff, and my generation included, it kind of is. Um, but like when people started to realize that, yeah, yeah, you're not really meant to feel like this, um, and kind of more started to get diagnosed with that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of people would just kind of like jump on it and be like, yeah, me too. And it's like, but no. Uh, and obviously you can't really just completely invalidate and say, no, 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 you're not. Because that sounds like you're kind of gatekeeping. And that's not what I'm really trying to say. It's kind of hard to talk about without sounding like you're trying to gatekeep. Um, and here's the gate. <laughs> just in time. Um, yeah, um, but you can, I, I'm guessing people sort of understand what I mean. Like, like for example, this isn't really a person trying to do this on purpose, so it wasn't as annoying, but um, one of my friends, like, a few years back, they, um, they're they into, like, theatre and um, performance and stuff like that, and they were like, oh, yeah, I've got, I've got really bad anxiety. Um, I was diagnosed by my friend recently because I get stage fright, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, that that's not they're not the same <laughs> like if you're if you're literally fine in every other aspect of your life but you have stage fright not quite the same but then it, yeah people just do that though i don't know that was obviously more innocent but some people do do it a little more maliciously i wouldn't exactly say it's to um to hurt people but they'll kind of do it to basically say to people that they're like unique or that they've got oh god this is a oh no that that dude that's just become loose is yeah he he was really messing everything up there i'm having a hard time i'm having a hard time this scourge you need to die you have lived for way too long at this point dude please please die also, when did we have this curse? Since when did that happen? Have we always had that curse this floor? Have I gained it? I don't think I gained it, right? Rainmaker. Pretty easy one. Honestly, any that don't have boss armor are going to be an absolute cakewalk for us, I think. Oh, and it was so worth it. It was so worth it. This has been a really cool run. I've never really got to do a full-on... Uh, Devil's Crown run, just because normally you don't have the health to supply it, but when it's money, it's so much different. You have a, a supply of money, and yeah, it's, it just, this is good. We definitely could use more range now. Getting a bit more range now for the homing with Eye of Belial would be really nice. I mean, we've already got pretty good range. It's, it's kind of one of those weird things where like, unless it's, like, over 20, if someone tells you what their range is in Isaac, you have no real... Even even me, who's got, like, like all, probably getting on for, like, 2,000 hours in this game. I've got 1,400 on Steam, but I um, I played this game a lot on offline. Like, I basically... I, I beat um, Real Platinum God on um, the offline version before I, like, started playing it um, where it where track. So I, I probably have, like, getting on for 2,000 hours in this game now. And yeah, like, even now, if someone told me their range stat and be like, good or bad, I'd be like, Neh. if it's over 5 and below 20, I'm like, Neh. I have no idea. <laughs> I have literally no idea. Over 5 and below 20, the only numbers you need to know. R range is such a weird stat in this game. Just like it like it doesn't work with certain things like beams and basically it's it's completely useless as a stat unless it's low. Or you have herming like I was just asking for. That kind of makes it a bit more useful. God damn, my buddy's doing so well. One thing I do wonder by the way. So do you know how Succubus uh, increases your damage when you're in its radius? And when you're in its radius, your damage increases. And how... Yeah, and I think I just repeated myself twice there. But also how its damage, the radius of its damage is based on your damage. Does the does the damage per tick of, uh, of its radius do more while you're stood in that radius? Because... Surely, right? Because if it's based off your damage and your damage is higher while you're in it, the tick damage of it itself 
should be higher also. I've never really thought about that before. Or does it just take it at face value and base it on that and nothing more? Well, this guy's getting demolished. I think our bugger tears are also just doing an insanely good job as well. Thank God bugger tears don't care about uh, luck too much. And there you go, there's more range. Okay, so we're above 10 now, which I feel is like pretty much the full room, right? <laughs> 10 is like infinite, really. Nah. I was going to say that that's kind of an interesting room, but actually... The gruesome chests I can't really do much with. Beautiful. Just kind of winging it here. By the way, I don't know what's happening right now, but my frame rate has been godly this episode. It's been like basically 60 the entire run. And now I know there's no weird or wacky effects going on, so that's probably a good reason why. But it's just nice. It just, just feels wholesome. It feels so much more enjoyable to play. I see you, laser buddy. I don't think you can get away with it. I keep forgetting we got the soul. Really nice. I kind of feel like I do have Sacred Heart at this point. <laughs> I kind of... That's a, that's a good point, actually. Aya Belisle? I feel like Aya Belisle is, like, pretty close to Sacred Heart, really. It gives you really good homing, piercing, and a damage up once you've pierced. Like, I realize it doesn't give you a flat damage up slash multiplier. Like, obviously, Sacred Heart gives you a crazy high multiplier. But it's, it's pretty, it's pretty damn close in its effects, really. We could do Hush here. Hush is a risk. I'll do Hush. Hush is a big risk, to be honest. We only have a way to generate one coin, so we have to be pretty confident. Oh, ho, ho. I didn't think about this at all. That's really unfortunate that we can't see what the items are, but that is pretty cool. Okay. So we get whatever this is. Binky's fantastic. Oh, Binky's a huge, huge tier rate up. That, that card is also fantastic. Okay, so I think we go... We can take both. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, we got the Corpus. The Corpus is terrible. Star of the Bottomless Pit is pretty good. Okay. Is there any way we can get a bit more money here? Seemingly not. Ho ho! Ask and you shall receive. Little Abaddon. Oh, I've never had Little Abaddon with... Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Although he charges much quicker than we do. Okay, I actually think we've got a really good setup here. Now, obviously, like I said, we do have the a problem of only having one charge and it didn't even pay out. So we don't have any hearts, but... I think we have a very, very, very strong setup, and we have the lovely bugger tiers to help us out. That's going to be, like, the toppest tier. And also, I keep forgetting, we have the soul. The soul is going to be really powerful for getting us out of a jam and keeping us from getting hit. Especially while we're sort of up close and personal like this. I realize that um, the piercing and herming isn't really going to make any difference right now. It's a shame all the Bugateers don't still stick. I can't, I still can never believe that that was actually a thing. That the Bugateers, you should just stay on forever. Now we last 10 seconds, and that still see, still feels insanely powerful. Also, getting Star of the Bottomless Pit is insane. <laughs> on kill, we have a, a chance to get Locusts. All blue flies become Locusts. It's, it's a really, really nutty item. Okay, stop going underground, fella. Stop going underground. This is the only attack I can foresee hitting me, and it's not the attack directly, it's more the fact that it makes me move. Yeah, there you go. And it causes me to get hit by other stuff. Also, the slidiness is just awful. Dude, he did it again? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're fine. Okay, that was a really easy hush kill. And we got another dime. Are you kidding me? 
We can now go buy this item too. And it's champion belt, baby. Holy shit, this is lucky. I completely forgot that this would work on these rooms. That was such a huge big brain player that was completely accidental. Being able to get four extra devil deals, especially considering we had steam sale and so we're able to afford them all. I mean, the fact that we got the crazy good payouts with money there was, was obviously a big help. Oh my god, our damage is insane. It's, it's kind of crazy that, like, our damage isn't insane. <laughs> like, our actual damage stat is really not insane at all. Also, why did Binky give us such an insane fire rate up? It gave us a 1.23 fire rate up. Uh, to just keep that in mind, um, the Torn Photo gave us a 0 0.2 fire rate up. Or something like that, a 0 0.12. It was very low. It's night and day the difference. But yeah, like, our actual damage stat physically isn't insane. It's, it's good. It's certainly good, but it's not, like, crazy. Um, ooh, this is nice. Ooh, also... Mm, I think Judgment's better. I think Judgment's better. Um, yeah, uh... I actually think I'm just gonna skip this room. I don't want to deal with you. Oh, no, it wasn't that hard. Um, yeah, like, it's... it's. I've seen much higher not kill anywhere near as quickly as this. And this is just kind of, like, a culmination of the other items. Still got that weird judgment item that seems to be entirely pointless. Don't really understand why it exists, but hey her. That's the goat she floated. Oh god. Someone over at whatever mod team that's from needs to explain to me the the uh, design choice behind that item, because I don't get it. <laughs> seems weird, daddy -er. Right, let's keep moving. Good one, good, good. Grab that bad boy. Where am I going? God damn, Curse of the Lost is the worst. <laughs> Just not knowing at all where you're meant to be going. I feel like I've been this way a million times. Where the hell am I meant to be here? What? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I went right. I went right again. I went down? Okay, I haven't been down. It's just so hard to wrap your head around. I don't think so, sir. Being able to shoot through those is the best thing in the world. Well, that guy, that guy had some health to him. Apparently one of these ghosts survived. Oh, dude, that was BS. <laughs> Little Hushy going around there blocking some shots and stuff. In fact, Hushy was in a great spot there to block a lot of shots. The beams, the beams of light. Okay. Bugger tears are great there. Try and get some, some of that in there. <clears throat> okay, this was easy. And we've got four keys exactly. And we've got a restock machine. Please don't give us um, Curse of the Unknown or whatever the curse is that stops us from seeing things. Curse the Nears, that's fine. One reroll. Okay, so that's two rerolls. These two are really good, but the rest can get rerolled. That's incredible. We don't need that. Or that. Or that. That, however, it can be dangerous, but it's hella fun. Tier game. Every single kill that we get change, gives us one, of, like, changes uh, our tier effect. We get one random tier effect um, additionally on top of what we have. And it changes with every kill that we get. It's fantastic. Can you stop being yourself? Oh, come on. Stop going invincible. Okay, I think we're just going to like run out, the, run out the clock at this point. We're just uh, making our way downtown.
it really does look like we have Sacred Heart. <laughs> With all the white tears. Yeah, I'm not really heading in a specific direction here. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Last assist with the bit of boss armor can be a little bit tricky. Kinda, it is good though, because he used to be like so unformidable, like so terrible. Broken Planetarium, let's go. Libra. No. <laughs> you tempt me, game, but I have to answer no. Whoa, you just teleport, what the hell? I can't tell if he teleported then or Rock Gut kind of bugged him out. I'm not quite so sure. Oh, god damn. What? I didn't take damage then? Ow. I don't even know what happened there. I was ready to get slapped. The virus. Kind of a nice addition. A little bit late, but... I will have it and hold it. And here we go. Toxic Shock was a great addition at the end. What on earth happened here? What the Jiminy Cricket happened there? I see you there, Dominic. Don't think you tricked me. Ballot. Eh, we don't need that right now. We've got no bosses left. Um, Good red rooms? I guess here. I don't know why I even did this. I was right at the bottom. I could have just beat it instantly, but I don't know. I felt like I had to, had to try. We had Herming for that one. Nice. Thank you to your game. Okay. Boss time. Is there any of these that could help us combat-wise? I mean, I guess the birds. Algis is probably a little more reliable, though. Uh, considering this guy was eternal, I'm glad I did that. Oh, you bastard. It gave me a Roboros. Okay, we, we managed to kill something. I don't know what it was. We only got 20 seconds of invincibility here, though. And now we got Fire Mind. We are killing him pretty fast. We're about to run out of invincibility. We got Parasite. Just causing some frames. <laughs> but there you go. He is dead. And that's it. That was a very, very fun run and a very safe run as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.